everyone, Tina here for Paper Tray Ink. I hope your day is going fantastic. I'm so glad you're joining me. I have a fun birthday card to share with you today. We are using a big bloom. This is the Into the Blooms Big Bloom die set. It creates one large bloom. You have a leaf in here and it's a layering flower so you layer all the pieces together and the, the flower it creates is just stunning. We're going to use this to create a birthday card. And then I'm also going to bring in the brand new Just Notes stencil collection. This stencil creates some grid lines, if you want, or horizontal or vertical stripes. We're going to use this on our card. I'm also going to bring in um, the Love to Layer notebook die. And then for my background, we're going to fill it with some numbers since it's a birthday card. This is the Paper Tray Ink Fancy Floral Numbers. This is not; These are all new part of the release, but this is not um, new. This has been in the shop for a while. We're going to start by doing some die cutting. For my card today, we're going to create a pink card. So I have a piece of vellum. This is a heavy, heavyweight vellum, and I'm going to use the largest notebook die. And we're going to cut this out. We're going to die cut our bloom with Paper Tray Ink's Pale Peony cardstock. And we're just going to layer all of the dies here. And I'm going to die cut all five pieces out. For the flower stamen, I'm going to use Paper Tray Ink's Smoky Shadow cardstock. And then for the leaf, we're going to use, we're going to die cut this out three times. I'm using simply, or actually this is limeade ice. I'm going to run everything through my die cut machine and I will be right back. We're going to set my vellum notebook paper aside and we're going to do a little ink blending on our bloom. I have some paper tray ink, berry sorbet ink, And we're going to add some color, not to the, this is the base, okay? On the rest of our blooms, there's deboss detail. What I'm going to do is add some color to those areas that have the deboss detail, just around it. Okay, and then with this one, you can see the deboss detail here, here, and here. So we have a little extra color. I'm going to bring in my Hawaiian Shores and we're going to add some color to the edges of our leaves here. Once our ink blending is done, we can now layer it. This is the base layer. We didn't do any blending on. I'm going to take this layer. We're going to add some glue behind here. And then I'm going to layer these two together. What I suggest doing is looking for a key point, and on this flower for me, this petal right here is my key point. They line up beautifully. Okay, once we have this adhered, this is going to layer here using that key point here. So I'm going to flip this over. We're going to put foam tape on the reverse side and add a little dimension. And then, again, I'm using this as my key point. I'm going to line it up, and it will fit like a puzzle. We'll just tack this down. This here is layer four. Now this inside piece is going to match this inside piece on the bottom. So I'm going to line this up. And before we add this piece, which will fit right here. I'm going to add my stamen. I'm just going to add a little glue at the very bottom and then I'm going to tack this down. And I put foam tape behind our last final piece and this again fits like a puzzle at the very bottom and we're covering that stamen. And that is our beautiful floral. There's lots of layers on here. Of course, if you don't want all this dimension, you can skip the foam tape. I just think this is such a beautiful floral, beautiful focal point. I'm going to add glue at the very bottom of my leaves. I know I went two together. I'm not going to add my leaves just yet. Um, we'll add the leaves last. Okay. I'm going to bring in 
my vellum notebook page. And while we have our inks out, I'm going to grab our stencils. In the Just Note stencil collection, there's a larger grid and a smaller grid. So I'm going to make a smaller grid with the smaller lined stencils. I just line them up on my notebook paper. I'm going to use True Black ink. I'm going to add just a little bit of color at the very top. Oh, and I do want to mention, on the back of my stencils, I used Pixie Spray. So there's a little bit of tackiness here. Add a little color with stencil one, and then I'm going to wipe off the ink here. And then I will remove it, and I should have some stripes. And then I'm going to take my next stencil, which is the horizontal stripes, and I'm going to line them up. The fun thing about this stencil is you can create wonky grid lines if you want. And then I'm going to do the same thing to create my grid lines. Just going to go over those stripes. I want kind of a distressed look, so that's why I'm only going in certain spots on my vellum. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and wipe off my stencil here. And then... So now we have some grid lines, kind of distressed grid lines, on our notebook, vellum piece. I'm going to take my Paper Tray Ink Fancy Floral stamp set, and I'm going to layer them kind of in a cluster. So I have them layered here. I want a background filled with all of these numbers since it's a birthday card. I'm going to treat my paper with my anti-static powder tool. And then, if you have a watermark ink, you could use a watermark ink, but I'm going to be using Paper Tray Inks Fresh Snow Ink Cube. This is a pigment ink. And it works great because you can actually see where you stamp. I'm just going to cover all my numbers. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and give this a good press. I'm going to bring in my white embossing powder, and I'm going to go over our numbers so it stands out on my pink peony cardstock. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and melt this. I want to adhere this panel to the front of an A2 size card base, just using my tape runner. That's our background panel. And now we need a happy birthday greeting. So I'm using the Paper Tray Ink Birthday Your Way 2 stamp set. I'm going to take happy birthday and we're going to stamp this with more true black ink. And then I'm going to take the coordinating die, and we will die cut this out. And that's our happy birthday greeting. Now let's take all of our elements, and we're going to put it together. I'm going to start by taking my grid paper. I'm going to add some adhesive behind it, right in the middle. We're going to layer it right in the center. And we're going to add this. We're going to add our leaves. And at the very bottom, we're going to add happy birthday. For bells and whistles, I'm going to bring in some of my unicorn stickles. And I'm going to add a few drops to the stamen. Unicorn stickles look so pretty on black cardstock. And I'm also going to bring in my paper tray ink, Rainbow Gems. These have a real pretty iridescent hue to them. And we're going to add a little bit of sparkle. 
in our background. Just a few splashes of sparkle and that will finish my card today for Paper Tray Ink. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a lovely day and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.